Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Well, tonight we got a special fly for you. In Convict, we got uh, Acons bringing in Smack That. Because that's what Trout are going to be doing. Smacking that. Not always do you get a beautiful song like that to take you in on a Friday Night Flies episode. It's Friday night. Your host, Brad Knowles. Anyhow, we're getting pretty excited. It's almost Christmas here. What is today? The 9th? It is. It is the 9th of December. Oh. And we got sirens in the background. Oh, yeah, it's convicts in the house, man. We got sirens rolling through here. Anyhow, so don't mind that. We got a little bit of stuff going on all the time. Tonight. That's a pretty popular fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a popular fly. What can we say? Anyhow, tonight, since we're on the theme of Christmas, it's coming up. I know that you fellow fly tires would like nothing more to get your kids hooked on fly time and getting the neighbors all hooked on fly time because you know what? Flies aren't that cheap anymore. And if you can get your kids to tie your flies for you, that's what we call a bonus. And we've got just that opportunity today for this next week or two. Well, till Christmas. We'll do till Christmas Eve. We've got super flies in the house. We've got the super fly tying pattern kit. Contains detailed fly tying instructions, step-by-step -step photos, a small sample fly, and all the materials you need to tie 12 elk hair caddises. Whoa. Man. Not only that, we've got all your deadly ones, man. The Joe's Hopper is in the house. One of my all-time favorites, oh. the Wooly Bogger. And if, uh, if you guys follow us on uh, our YouTube channel, you'll see us using these guys right now. Egg patterns. Like these eggs be banging. Anyhow, let's get back to time flies. Today, we're tying the Convict Mosquito Pattern. It's a really beautiful... Hey, let's take it down. Let's take it down. Let's take it down. We got Akon. Akon's in the house. Smack that. Smack that. Anyhow, we're going to get tied to it. Anyhow, we got a grizzly hackle. We got a peacock curl body. We've got uh, super thread, uh, super fly, super glitter thread wrap on the body. That's how we. I mean, if you look at this fly, it looks like a damn convict. Yeah. It's a convict. And then you got your grizzly tail. Anyhow, we're going to get right out of here. So, since we're in the studio, I'm tying on a fairly big dry fly hook, which you guys aren't going to be doing. You want to tie this powder on a size 10 dry fly hook. Today, this is your powder. Hold on, we're going to get that price tag off because I don't want a thousand people rolling through here being like, man, those are the best damn prices I've ever heard in my entire life. Eagle Claw today, we're rolling with Eagle Claw. Laser. The laser sharp hook. In a size 10, it's a 59 VP hook. Starting off with a little bit of uni thread black, 6 aught. And what we want to do here is you want to make sure you close off that eyelet. That's one thing you claw is famous for is leaving a little gap there that when you're fly tying, it likes to slip into that hole. Cut off that excess thread. And what we want to do here. Is we're going to wrap all the way up the body. We don't want any shank showing. I'm going to explain it to you later why we're doing this. It's got something to do with that convict and that white peacock curl. And you know what happens when wet, white things, white things get wet. You know, especially like white t-shirts and all those kind of things. You can kind of see what's going on underneath, if you know what I'm saying. So when that white peacock curl gets wet, It starts to show a little bit of that black underneath. So we're going to get a little bit of black body. Sorry, buddy. We're, we've got some fly tying in the house here, so got, we're going to uh, keep the nice. volume at a minimum. I had a war tag. So at this, at this point, we're going to take the grizzly hackle that we got. It's a little bit thicker than I'd like, but as you can see, when all you got left in the, your bag is fat flies or fat feathers, 
you try and pick out the thinnest one you possibly can. But on this point, this is what, what I'm left with. Sorry, guys. We got a little bit of background noise going on here. The store is busy. It's Christmas. Everybody's coming in to get those fly tying kits for their kids and their neighbors and whoever else likes a great introductory fly tying kit. All I'm doing here is just stacking those little tips from the bottom end. Strip a little bit off the fat end of your grizzly hackle. At this point, lock her down. Off the back, you want to have your tail sticking out of both the width of the gap of your hook. So the distance between the two of them, see it sticking out the back, real nice and pretty like. Lock it down. At this point, we're going to take a chunk of uh, super fly, super glitter thread in black. Black is the night, the winter cold nights. And talking about black winter nights, man, the days are getting shorter and shorter as the days go. But that means that we're getting some good ice because the temperature's been dropping. Anyhow, we're going to smoothen that sucker out. Now, I just happened to find myself an albino peacock. <laughs> they are really, really hard to come by, these albino peacocks. And I think my uh, stock here, my inventory, is going to be somewhat depleted. But you can get these from Superfly. They're just white dyed. I think they dye them or they bleach them. I'm not sure how the hell they do it. But, man, they do a really good job of it. And if you're looking for something that's going to bleach through, what you're going to do is... Two strands of peacock curl from the al albino peacock here. I'm going to cut the ends, the coarse ends off. You want to cut those guys off. Take a zim. You're going to lock them down on the uh, on the shank here. Sorry, there's a little bit of stuff going on in the background here, but business is as usual here at Spud Belly Sporting Goods in downtown Pemberton, 1380 Birch Street. If you guys want to come down and say hi. Heck, man, we don't even mind if you guys come and watch the show. We've got three guys in the background right now watching the show. Hey there. <laughs> Only one person's not shy. Okay, so we're going to take this peacock curl. And we're going to wrap it up the body. Remember what we said about that peacock curl. Is that uh, when this body gets wet, it kind of shows what's underneath, being that it's white. And you want to wrap this guy up doesn't matter how tight you get it on the body. You kind of want to leave a little bit of that black. Because when you're rolling this rib up, you're going to kind of lay it in those gaps anyhow. And you want to leave uh, not too much space. Probably about the width of your bobbin at the head of the fly here. Just to lock her down. So we cut the end of that peacock off. The albino peacock. Now we take the rib that we got here, the, the black super glitter thread. And we're just going to kind of wrap her up through the, the gaps that we left in behind here. Start out. And as you're watching here, you're going, okay, now I'm understanding why they called it convict. Because the old convicts, they wear a white jumper with black bars. You know what I'm saying? I've seen enough movies on HBO to know this one for sure. Anyhow, you got that wrapped up into the body. Lock that thread down. The last thing you want to do is let it go. Then we're going to take that beautiful... Where did I put it? Dropped it here some. There it is. The grizzly hack. And you kind of want to get up past where the uh, fat stuff starts. Or tapers off into the thinner stuff. So you got about that much feather. I mean, when I first got my hackle there, there was tons of it. Tons of it turns into hardly any. And I'm actually going to put this on my Christmas wish list. So if my little sweetheart is watching the show, which I know she probably is, Daddy needs a new grizzly hackle. So you take your uh, hackle plier here, grab her in the tip, Rubber tips. You're going to wrap it around the head of the fly here. 
See, this feather's a little bit longer than I'd like, but as you can see, we're getting down to the nitty gritties of my bag of feathers, my bag of tricks, my fish trickery. And you, want, you don't really want to stack it on top of itself, so what we're going to do is we're just going to work our way up a little bit. You want a nice full head. You know, just like that. And then you're going to go around the back side of that, and wrap around it, lock down that little bit of feather. And this is one of my nicer ones. These fish have no chance. This thing hits the water. They'll be in trouble, bro. So take that guy and push her back a little bit. You're going to just lock it down on the head, and then we're going to go in and behind and kind of clean it up because it looks like i got one little feather trap there. But when you're putting a hackle on there as thick as I did, it's almost impossible not to gather gather a few fluff, uh, feathers. Lock that guy down. Cut her off nice and tight. Get rid of a few of those stragglers. Cause you want it to look good. There it is. Okay. At this point, I'm gonna take Superfly's Super Lacquer Head Cement. And that's a tongue full. That's a tongue full. And you're just going to give a dab of that onto the fly head there. Log it down. You want to make sure you clear that eye free of the uh, head cement. Give that two seconds. And at this point, we're going to throw down some more convict here. Acon, smack that. And I'm going to give you a slow roll of this beautiful fly. I don't want to stop this. I don't want to stop this slow roll, boys. <laughs> smack that. Smack that. <laughs> Anyhow, we're having fun here in the studio. We're going to take it up top. Up top? We're going to take it up uh, top. Tippy. We're back. Tippy toppy. Anyhow, if you guys missed it out, the beginning of the show, we just tied the convict. We've got some great Christmas ideas here for you fellow fly tires that want to get your kids, your friends, family, anybody hooked. Because right now it's affordable. It's about sporting goods. Superfly has came up with these beautiful little fly tying kits. This Superfly fly tying kit Pattern kit contains detailed instruction, fly tying instructions, step-by-step -step photos, a sample fly, and all the materials you need to tie 12 woolly buggers. Not just that. I mean, that's one of my favorites. That's a go-to pattern. We got Joe's Hoppers in the house. We got El Caracatus. He's also in the house. And for you guys that follow me on YouTube, you probably saw on the fishing reports on our fishing reports page there, covering the fish finder. We were using these guys just the other day. There's a reason we're using these things. Them's damn tasty. Trope candy. Tasty. They, they eat it up. Anyhow, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, in case I'm not here next week, we are full swing ice fishing tours. December 16th. You guys want to join us on a nice fishing trip? Give us a jingle. Um, you can always reach out to Scotty or myself or Melissa, our booking agent, and also happens to be my beautiful wife at info at permanentfishfinder.com or give us a call toll free at 877 905 8121.